Although some researchers argue differently, the main effects of growing up in poverty include poor health, a high risk for teen pregnancy, and the lack of an education. Poor health is a direct effect of growing up in poverty, as children living in low economic families may not have access to adequate medical coverage. Additionally, a high risk for teenage pregnancy is an effect of growing up in poverty. When teenager girls grow up in poverty, they may get pregnant at an early age and flee a poor household. Deandra Prescott and Andrew Dare confirmed these findings when their research determined that teenage girls in poor areas have less access to resources and sex education classes as a result. Teenage girls that grow up in poverty can become pregnant at an early age, and without the financial means to support the child, the teenager girl will continue to live in poverty as an adult. Children living in poverty are at risk for dropping out of school at an early age due to frequent moves, the lack of parental involvement, and a high risk for becoming involved in crimes. When a child quits school at a young age, they will continue to live in poverty since they will not be able to get a good paying job without a diploma or a college degree. In contrast, many researchers believe that poor health is not a direct result of growing up in poverty. Therefore, poor health and chronic health issues are not a direct consequence of growing up in poverty since medical conditions are inherited despite if a person grows up rich or poor. Many teenagers get pregnant even when they have access to sex education classes and birth control. For example, many teenagers throughout the United States are forming pregnancy pacts, which is a group of girls who intentionally get pregnant together in order to raise their babies together, in all. These findings mean that teenagers in all economical statuses get pregnant on purpose, even when they are not living in poverty finally. Growing up in poverty does not lead to low educational attainment levels. Although some children do move a lot when they are younger and they have limited parental involvement, the child can still obtain an education since many people quit school and go on to earn gets and college degrees. Therefore, if a child living in poverty does drop out of school early, they are more likely to earn a get, apply for financial aid, and then go on to earn a college degree and score a high paying job that will end the poverty cycle. Although researchers argue that poor health is a direct result of genetics, genetics do not always play a role in chronic health conditions throughout the lifespan. As a result, a teenager growing up in poverty can easily become pregnant, and the pregnancy will be an unplanned event in their life. Lastly, Growing up in poverty does lead to lower and unplanned teenage educational levels, as many children may quit school due to a lack of parental involvement, a lack of transportation to school, pregnancy, and the involvement in crimes within their neighborhood. Therefore, stating that a child who quits school is more likely to earn up in jail, or they may end get, apply for financial aid, and then go on to earn a college degree and score a high paying job is a logical fallacy named slippery slope. If a child ends up quitting school, it does not mean that they will go on to earn a get and that this chain of events will 